one. All right, let's go. You have some lists of numbers. Uh, this looks complicated. Okay. I see. I haven't actually read the problem yet, to be clear. Uh, whoa. Mm. That looks like it worked. That's cool. Uh,
Oh, what are the indices? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. That's right. Ah, lost a couple seconds there. Okay. Um, okay. Is that how sorting works? Hopefully. Uh, there. Okay. Okay, this is probably right. <sighs> Seconds. It's not right. Pretty one. Okay. Could be better, could be worse. Uh cool. So I think we already have the code printing both answers. Possibly I should have done a little bit less to optimize for that. Anyway. 5806 and 23600. Cool. So what's going on here? Um, so we basically, the heart of the problem is implementing this comparison function between lists uh, as heterogeneous listed numbers, right? That is lists where every element is either a number or another list. Um, and so they tell us how to do this compare function. Uh, 
I found it slightly annoying because they didn't really say what to do in the case where everything is equal the whole time. I guess we were supposed to assume that that didn't happen. Probably didn't happen. Uh, anyway, so um, I don't know. The sort of the way that they put this, it can really return three values, right? Either it's in order or continue checking, or it's not in order, um, which I'm representing with negative one, zero, one, which I think is a pretty common sort of compare convention, uh, as described on this Python page that I had to look up. <laughs> uh, not a great use of time. Anyway, um, so if they're both integers, then you just do like the standard comparison for integers, right? If it's less than negative one, if it's equal zero, if it's greater than one. If they're both lists, uh, again, this is basically a standard comparison like compare the first element of the list. Uh, if it actually returns a value, then um, you know that's the value. Otherwise, keep going. Um, so this is lexicographic comparison, right? We just yeah. If the, you only look at the second element, the first elements are equal. Um, and then if you run out of elements from the first list, it's shorter. If you run out of elements from the second list, uh, uh, the then the first list was bigger, and otherwise they're equal. And if you just have an integer in a list, um, wrap the integer you know, in a single element list and compare them. So that's what they said to do. Uh, that's what I did. And then in part one, uh, we have these pairs of packets. And we just need to compare each pair and report the number of pairs where the first thing is smaller. Um, so you can use eval to like parse the input, which is very convenient, because I don't know, parsing this stuff would be annoying. Um, so yeah, eval them until actual like lists of lists of integers, uh, and then just check. You know, if the comparison returns negative one, then count it for part one. I guess I'll rename this variable to part one. Uh, and then for part two, they said, okay, uh, forget about the pairs. Just like take all of the in pa input packets as a single big list, and then also throw in these two packets, uh, and then sort them and figure out. Uh, multiply the indices of these two packets in the sorted list. Uh, so fine, we can do that. Um, so one thing that I wasn't had to look up uh, is how to sort using a comparator in Python, because I know how to sort using a key. Uh, and I guess there's this function that they have to handle this. Um, so that's nice that they have a section about it. Uh, and yeah, I'm not quite sure what, actually, let's let's go look at what this does. Uh, how does it work, though? Are you going to tell me? I'm curious. They will not tell me. OK, well, I'm kind of curious. Uh, but I guess I will not try and find out further right this second. Anyway, um, you can sort, you know, somehow using this comparator function. Uh, like a different way to do this, which is maybe yeah, I'm not actually quite sure how they did this. But anyway, you could imagine that, like, you know, in your sort function, you need to call less than. So uh, this function could basically just like. I could have uh, wrapped this thing in a class and then used this as the less than function for that class. That would have worked. Uh, anyway, so with them somehow using this comparative function, it's like shouldn't be hard, but Python's making it hard. Uh, and then just go through the sorted list, and uh, if it's you know the two sort of target things that we wanted, uh, multiply their indices. Um, so that is it, really. Oh, so apparently I screwed this up. Uh, oh, I reused P1 for part one and packet one. Let's not do that. Okay. Oh, cool. OK, uh, yeah, so it's basically just implementing this comparison function according to the rules that they gave. That's that's like the core of the problem. Uh, see you tomorrow.